Ahmad Massoud vows to continue resistance against Taliban rule. Regarding the Taliban and their, their um, re-emergence, it's, it's, it's very much concerning. It is something that not just Afghanistan and the region, uh, but especially Europe should be very much concerned about it because it will have two immediate impacts. Besides many other impacts it will have, the two immediate impacts, first, it's the rise of the new wave of the young uh, extremists and fanatic people in the, in the West. The second thing is the new wave of immigrants. And uh, Afghanistan's regions, uh, Afghanistan's uh, security and stability will affect the region and the displacement of Afghans and also some other people around in the region, uh, most of them they will head back to Europe and they will head uh, to Europe uh, for, for, for safety and, uh, and for, for hope and for future. So immigration, a new wave of immigration and also uh, uh, the potential rise of new wave of extremists coming from Europe to Afghanistan uh, because they see that uh, sort of extremist narrative have taken over a state that is very dangerous. Who do you blame for this complete mess? Well, first of all, I blame Americans more, more than anyone. The deal they made with the Taliban, they gave them the moral boost that they needed and the sort of recognition that they needed. So I blame for such a mess right now the Americans more than anyone. And then the Afghan administration, not just now, for the past 20 years, that they were unable to really establish a functioning state. What is your capability in taking on the attack? Because I guess that's what everyone wants to know. Well, myself, uh, I have a commitment to the people of Afghanistan as a new generation. Our previous generations, they all vowed to, to serve this country and to help it, to support it, to defend it. And we new generation, we are like, you know, we are vowing to do the same thing. Uh, to really defend the values of Afghanistan, the values of Afghan people, and, uh, and, and, and to defend this country. Mass out stressed that if his National Resistance Front gave up on resistance, Afghanistan would turn into a safe haven for international terrorists. Resistance forces based in Afghanistan's Panjshir province will continue their fight against the Taliban, said resistance leader Ahmad Massoud, son of the late Afghan field commander Ahmad Shah Massoud. We will continue our resistance, we will not let these people take our freedom from us, the homage news agency quoted him as saying on Tuesday. If we give up on resistance, Afghanistan will turn into a safe haven for international terrorists. We can't tolerate that the Taliban government uses force and we will appreciate any country reluctant to recognize the Taliban government," he added. According to Ahmad Massoud, his National Resistance Front was determined to bring peace to Afghanistan. Afghanistan's government should be accepted by all sectors of society, he pointed out. The nation is not content with this cabinet, women, religious and ethnic minorities are dissatisfied with it because it is a terrorist government whose members are blacklisted as they are considered to be terrorists, the Panjshir resistance leader stressed. After the United States announced plans for its troop pullout from Afghanistan, the Taliban embarked on a large-scale operation to take the country under its control. On August 15, Taliban fighters swept into Kabul without encountering any resistance and Afghan President Ashraf Ghani stepped down and fled the country. Those unwilling to accept Taliban rule organized a resistance movement in the Panjshir Valley, led by Ahmad Massoud. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid said on September 6 that the movement had secured full control over the Panjshir province. Massoud, in turn, stated that resistance against Taliban rule goes on. On September 7, the Taliban announced a new Afghan government consisting only of the movement's members, the majority of whom are ethnic Pashtuns.